On April 11th, 2023 at about 11:15 p.m. the Rochester Police Department and the Rochester Fire Department responded to 565 Jefferson Avenue for the report of a fire in the hallway. When firefighters arrived on scene they found 38 year old Fantasia Stone inside the building and she was on fire. Stone died at the scene. The Rochester Police Department's major crimes unit worked in conjunction with the RPD, RFD, Arson Task Force to determine the circumstances of Stone's death. Over the last several weeks, it was determined Fantasia Stone was intentionally set on fire following an argument inside of 565 Jefferson Avenue. 53-year-old Troy Parker, City of Rochester resident, was identified as a suspect. On April 25th, 2023, members of the United States Marshals Felony Fugitive Task Force located Parker in the City of Rochester and took him into custody without incident. It is alleged that on April 11th, Parker intentionally caused the death of Stone by dousing her with an accelerant and then lighting the accelerant. Stone was immediately engulfed in flames and perished at the scene. She suffered burns to over 85% of her body. The evidence indicates she was clearly alive when she was lit on fire. The fire started by Parker also caused damage to the building at 565 Jefferson Avenue. Troy Parker has been charged with murder in the second degree and arson in the second degree. The arson charge levied against him is a result of damage to the building at 565 Jefferson Avenue. Parker will be arraigned in Rochester City Court this morning at about 9.30 a.m. If you recall, there was an arson at the same building on April 12th, the day after the murder. Uh, that investigation is still ongoing. Uh, with that being said, we'll take a couple questions. Uh, they were known to each other. Uh, we'll say that they were acquaintances at this time. And from what I understand, there were several calls made prior to this incident um, for the both of them. Can you elaborate on what they were taken into custody for as well as what those calls entailed? Are you talking about the day of or prior, prior. to? Uh, we're not going to get into too many details on prior calls. Uh, what we will say is that there was an argument on April 11th, and as a result of the argument uh, is when Parker killed her. Make sense? Yeah, I just had, yeah, I'm thinking in my head. I can rephrase that. Captain, how did investigators come to the conclusion of Parker? What led up to it? We talked to witnesses, we reviewed video evidence, and we interviewed Parker yesterday. And as a result of all the information developed, we were able to zero in on him as a suspect and working with the information that we received early on in the investigation, um, you know, it led us to the arrest yesterday. Well, you mentioned, Go ahead. You mentioned Parker and Stone were acquaintances. Would you have known right at this moment um, if he was staying there or had he been visiting or do you not know? He did not live at that location on Jefferson Avenue. Ms. Stone lived there. as well as her boyfriend who was taken into custody for a mental health call saying he was going to light people on fire. Can you confirm those calls happened before April 11th? Because of the nature of the calls, I'm not gonna get into specifics, uh, but I can confirm that there were in fact calls regarding both of those individuals. But when we talk about um, you know, mental health issues and things like that, we really don't divulge too much information on that for obvious reasons. There, there were issues, there were issues. And I was told too that from calls over the weekend from people that he was bragging about it on the street. Were those witnesses from the street where he was bragging about lighting Fantasia on fire? Well, I'm not gonna get into specific witnesses. What I will tell you is murder investigations get solved because people cooperate with the police. And you know, that's certainly the case here. We had a, a good amount of video evidence and you know, we had people that cooperated. When people cooperated, cooperate, we're able to make arrests. And I might have missed this too, did, did he admit to lighting Fantasia on fire? He did make statements to the police. He did not, he, he put himself at the scene. We'll leave it at that for now. Captain, this is a violent death in terms of lighting someone on fire. Can you talk about the nature of like how 
horrible an offense that was for perjury. It's, it's vicious. It's an act of savagery. I mean, to, to douse somebody with an accelerant and then light them on fire, there's no other way to describe it except an act of savagery.